Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So for today's video, I am going to do a Huda Beauty haul. And in the haul today, I will also do lip swatches for all the new Huda Beauty lip products that I have recently purchased. So yeah, if you want to know what I got from Huda Beauty, just please keep watching. Also, we have a special guest today. Ta-ta! This is my puppy PJ! I just love him. I miss him on camera. But there was a phase that he was just so naughty. He just won't sit still. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna be that overbearing mom that just like forced her kid to do whatever I want them to do. So I'm just like, whatever you want to do. But recently, he has been really like calmed down. So here, PJ! Oh! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, I love you. See how good he is now. All he wants to do is chill with me and go to dog park or we go a walk outside or we drive through Starbucks and get him a puppuccino. So yeah, this is baby PJ right here. And now let's get into today's haul. Okay, so recently Huda Beauty has a sale. Well, which website does it, you know? So I got a lot of the stuff that I always wanted, but I don't really want to pay full price. So the first item I got is a sponge applicator. This is called the Basic B Straight Edge Sponge Applicator. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a pouch. Let me open it for you guys. I saw Huda use this one in her video. I'm like, that looks really good. So here is the blender. This is what it looks like. I think I paid like $10 for it. So it's not that bad compared with like the beauty blender pricing. And this one feels really soft before, you know, soaking wet. So I have a good feeling for it. I really love those kind of blender that has like a straight edge. So that way when you, especially blending out like a cream contour, it will be really helpful. Or if you have like a liquid highlight, the edge will be really good for blending that out as well. So I'm excited to try this one and I might, you know, demo this one in a future Get Ready With Me. So definitely stay tuned for that. All right, moving on. The next item I got from Huda Beauty is her cream contour. So this is the Tantor cream and bronzer cream. So this is what it looks like. I got in the shade Fair. I was like looking at swatches online. I feel like the light shade is kind of orange. So I'm like, I want to be on the safer side. And this is the packaging looks like. It looks very similar to the Huda powder, which I have it here. So here, these are the two packaging. As you can see, it's the same exact size. It's just that this one is a deeper component, which makes sense. By the way, I have this Huda powder in pound cake. This is not from today's haul. I actually hauled this one a while ago from Sephora. And this is one of my favorite powder. It's just so creamy. And if you have similar skin tone as me, this color, it's bomb. So yeah, I highly recommend this powder. It's just one thing that it kind of smells like, like a kind of strong candy scent. Yeah, it has that kind of like a sweet, perfumey, but like candy kind of scent. So if you're allergic to scent, I don't know if this one will be a good option because the scent is very noticeable. For me, I don't really mind because my skin is not that sensitive. Obviously, I prefer a scent-free version because any kind of fragrance on your face is not good, whether you have sensitive skin or not. But when it comes to this brand, Huda Beauty, I feel like they put a lot of fragrances in different products. Like, I think that's one of their signature. Like, they use fragrance, very notable fragrance. I just don't know why they would do that, considering, like, the whole green organic movement right now in skincare and makeup. But you know what? For me, I still love Huda Beauty products. This is a really good powder, so I'm willing to overlook the fragrance but I do have to admit that I don't use this one consistently because I just don't think it's good to put fragrance on your face every single day I use this one on rotation with other like powders that doesn't have a scent for example today I use the bare minerals whale powder I'll put a picture here that one is amazing it's all minerals so it's good for your skin but on top of that 
it's not scented so it's really good and it's a very like soft whale powder so it's not necessarily a baking powder but it sets the face really naturally so whenever i have a pretty heavy foundation on i kind of don't want to be too like makeup key i just use the bare minerals whale powder so for this one you know i use the one i actually use a medium coverage foundation so that way i still have that makeup makeup look you know if i want to achieve that look but it's not like how to say i pile this powder on top of a full coverage foundation and i just totally cake face if that makes sense but anyway i like this powder in terms of the baking in terms of the color in terms of the texture don't necessarily like it because of the fragrance so yeah this is the huda beauty baking powder all right moving on to this huda beauty Tantor. so let's open her up i love the sleek packaging like this then here this is a Tantor. Ooh, this looks really good. I love this color. I think I made the right decision when I decided to purchase a fair color because even the fair is kind of like, you know, dark. So, um, ooh, the texture is so soft. It feels very like moussey like. So I'm going to put it here. I love this color. This color is so bomb. And I love the formula. It's so moussey, so soft. But in the meantime, it's not runny, you know? It's the perfect medium. And the like pigmentation is amazing. And the undertone is really good as well. It's mostly gray with a little bit of warmth to it. So that way you can use it as a contour and a bronzer. Thus, Tantor, right? So yeah. I love, love this cream bronzer. All right, moving on. The next item I got is a liquid highlight from Huda. And this is the Huda Beauty Nymph Not Your Mama's Pantyhose All Over Body Highlighter. So this is what it looks like. This is also last year's release. I was so tempted to buy this one when this one first came out but instead I chose the Patrick Ta's Shimmery Spray I'll put a picture here because I read reviews people saying that this one is a little bit too sticky for use on the body so I'm just like there's no way I don't really want a sticky you know highlight but then I saw Huda use this highlight on her face and she looks amazing like she looks so good with this highlighter like underneath her foundation so i'm like that's it i'm sold i'm going to buy this one solely use it on my face if it's truly that sticky so finally i'm holding it and i got it for like 30 percent off or something so i'm really happy that i waited because i think this one full price is not that cheap it's like 40 50 bucks so yeah that's too much but you do get a lot of products though. This is a giant bottle. Let's see. 55 millimeters or 1.85 fluid ounce. So yeah, this is a giant bottle, which makes sense because it's designed for the body. But now since Huda is starting to use it on the face, I saw so many people use it on the face. So I'm just like, I want it too. So let's open her up. I like the packaging, but some parts of the packaging, I feel like it could be better. For example, this pump is plastic. For me, since I buy for 30% off, I have no complaints. But for the people that buy full price, I feel like 40, 50 bucks, you could use a, you know, metal pump instead of plastic. Also, this feels a little cheap, but the rest of the body is really cool though. I like it. So this is in the shade Nuna. So let me shake it shake 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 and then it's not coming out and it's coming out from the side did you see that it's literally coming out from the side but from the pump so that's really weird okay i'm done like i i just that's too long so i'm gonna just come out from here oh be careful this is really runny people say this is sticky but i disagree Look how runny it is. But I'm wondering if it's because, you know, this is old inventory. So that's why they're on sale. Because, you know, the brown wants to get rid of them. So now they're running now. 
but if you buy it like fresh it's probably stickier i don't know that's just my assumption don't quote me on it but here is the color i like this color this color is that kind of like a champagne pop type of you know pearled gold sheen so i like it i think this is a nice color wow look look at the comparison okay look how much brighter this hand is now wow i like it i can see this as a beautiful like face primer type of a highlight like or like a back illuminator like this backlight priming filter this one is beautiful so yeah let me put on this side this Becca priming filter just to see the difference. So this is Becca. Did you guys see that? This one is Huda. This one is Becca. So the Huda one is actually lighter in terms of the texture. The Becca one definitely has that kind of a thicker consistency. In terms of the color, I think the Huda one is actually more leaning towards a yellow gold versus the Becca one is definitely more like a white gold color. But obviously uh, with this color on the face, you will blend it out even more. So it's going to take a little longer to blend it out versus the Huda one. It's kind of runny, so it actually blend it out fairly quickly. So yeah, first impression for me on this Huda body highlight. I don't think this is as sticky as some of the online reviews claim to be, but it could be that I got the older inventory, so it's less sticky now. I don't know. And in terms of the color, as you guys can see, this is definitely more of a yellow gold versus Becca is definitely more white gold. So if you have more of a tan skin tone, I think this will be a better color for you. So it really depending on, you know, your skin tone, if you're more tan, I'd say this color will be better for you but if you're more fair i think this you know back backlight filter will be better and in terms of the texture i actually like this one better because it's just more lightweight i like a lightweight formula in the summer because i just don't want to pile on tons of tons of makeup that's like take forever to blend so yeah this is the huda body highlight and i kind of like it if i didn't get a defect pump all right, moving on, the next item I got is this Huda Beauty Body Blur and a Glow Brush. So this is what it looks like. This is my first ever brush from Huda Beauty. I've never ever purchased her brushes. I just personally don't want to shout out like $20, $30 for a brush that's not from MAC or Sigma. I just, I don't know, I just don't really trust like newer brand coming with brushes when you can buy Morphe at $5, $6, $7. But this one I saw in the promo picture when they use in conjunction with this body highlight. I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. And the bristle actually looks amazing. So that makes me want to buy it. And this one is made with synthetic fiber. So it's, you know, animal cruelty free. That I really like. And let's open her up. Ooh. So here is the brush. I really like this brush because it looks really cute and it feels really soft. Like the bristle feels really dense. It's really soft. So when you do this, yeah, it doesn't scratch at all. And I feel like you can even use it as an all over face brush because how soft it is. And I like the fact that there is kind of like an angle. So that way when you apply, you can either hug your cheekbone or hug your, you know, like the wrist or like your leg. I just really like the design and it's super soft. So I cannot wait to use this. So I'm going to just pick up some product like this because the pump doesn't work. Ooh, look how runny the product is. So I'm going to just dab it using the brush and I'm just put it here. Can you guys see it? Like on my collarbone. Mmm, this highlight smells really good too. But again, it has a scent. So if you're allergic to scent, I don't really recommend because it's quite strong. Yeah, it's kind of a strong scent. So here, can you guys see that? My collarbone. Ooh. 
I really like it. And also look, the products are all like dispensed. I don't think it really absorbs the product because how densely packed the bristles are. So that's really good. And yeah, I really like this brush. Oh, by the way, let me show you guys what I'm wearing on my um, body today. So this is a bodysuit from Miss Lola, which is an online boutique that I discovered this year. Oh my gosh, they have so many cute styles and I bought some other clothes from the brand as well. So you guys will see how they look on me in the future videos. But I really love this white, you know, kind of like a mesh type of a top. It's just very retro. It's super in right now and the texture is really nice. So yeah, this top is from Miss Lola. All right, since we're talking about what I'm wearing right now, I might as well share with you guys what I'm wearing on my face today. So for the foundation, I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Foundation. Oh my goodness, this foundation is amazing. It's a cream texture and it's super high coverage, but at the same time, it doesn't feel sick like sitting on your face. It actually melts into the face pretty well and it gave a very flawless blend. So I really love this foundation and I'm in the shade Chai. I think it's a good match. So if you're similar skin tone as me, this will be a good color to pick it up. Then for the concealer, I'm using the Tarte Reinforce of the Sea Concealer. So this is what it looks like. Their Reinforce of the Sea foundation, I'll put a picture here, is my all time favorite foundation. It's a pretty, you know, old release at this point, but still I love, love that foundation. I love the finish of it. So that's why I got this concealer and I think it pairs beautifully with a full coverage foundation because the last thing I want is to pile on more makeup when I'm already wear a full face. So this concealer is a super like, how to say like running? I, I guess it's not really running natural. Like, let me show you guys. First, it has this big doleful, like the shape tape I love. And then here. Did you see that? Look how creamy that is. But at the same time, it's pretty like lightweight. So it's really like a beautiful concealer for the summertime. So this is what I'm wearing underneath my eyes. Then moving on for the eyes today. I'm using an eyeshadow palette from Estee Lauder. So this is the eyeshadow palette right here. It's actually Estee Lauder by Whitelit. And I'm pretty sure she is the creative director at Estee Lauder. So let me just show you the palette. Look at this. I got this one for a while now. I think I hauled it on camera. I'm not sure, but if I remember, I'll link it here. And I like it. I have been using this one off camera at least like a dozen times now because of all the neutral undertone. Whenever I just want like a quick neutral look when I'm not filming, I just want to go out, I grab this palette. Look at these colors, how beautiful they are. And I really love the shimmer as well. I'm using this color on my eyelid today. So let me show you right here. Look how beautiful that is. It's like gorgeous and it's kind of like that wet texture. So it gives you more pigmentation like this. I just really love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's highly underrated and I'm pretty sure it's on sale right now at like Belk or maybe Macy's. So if you're interested in a beautiful like neutral tone palette, this Estee Lauder by Wiley is really a good pick. All right, lastly for the lips today, I'm using two items. So first I line and fill my entire lip using the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in the shade Vacation. So this is the definer looks like. And on this side, you even have like a applicator. I already lost the cap, but here you pull it up. This is a sharpener. So it's really nice. I love this color. Then inside you have the color right here. Love, love this color. It's like this. Isn't that so beautiful? It's such like a beautiful color. I just felt like this is a perfect nudie color and it's super creamy. So I use this one to fill all over. 
Then I'm using the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick right here in the shade Shiro all over my lips. This Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick is such a beautiful formula. It's probably one of the best liquid lipstick formula out there. And the color Shiro is literally the perfect nude. So let me swatch it for you guys. Here. Just look at that. Isn't that just like the perfect color? It's so perfect. I just love it. Also, also, it's super comfortable on the lips too. So it's not like drying down completely. It's not moving around. It's that kind of beautiful cream texture. I just really, really love this color. So yeah, this is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Shiro. Alright, that's it. That's what I'm wearing on my face. So now let's move back on the haul. So the next item I got is the Overachiever Concealer from Huda Beauty. This is a repurchase because I really love the texture and it's on sale. So I'm just like, why not? And this is a concealer looks like. I like this two packaging. However, I kind of wish it has an applicator because this one is kind of like an eye cream type of applicator like this. So you push the product out like this and then you put underneath your eye. I just feel like the whole process is a little bit messy, but the concealer itself is really nice. So I can overlook that. Plus the discount does help, you know? So let me put it maybe like here. Yeah, let me put it here. So here is the color. So this is in the color Coconut Flakes. Ooh, let me smell it. Yeah, this one smells exactly like the Fall Filter Foundation. It has that kind of like a sweet perfume type of scent. For me, I love this concealer because of the texture. It's just that perfect medium to full coverage like concealer texture. I use it whenever I have like a medium foundation. I want more coverage, especially underneath my eyes. I just pull this one out and it's really, really beautiful. It smooths the under eyes, smooths the chin. I love this color as well. It's like really, really nice and it's long lasting too. So yeah, this one is a repurchase and I love it. All right, moving on. The next item I got is another brush from Huda Beauty. This one is a face brush. So this one is the Huda Beauty Face Bacon Blend Dual Ended Setting Complexion Brush. And this is what it looks like. I saw Huda use this one to set her under eye, to blend out her contour. So I'm just like, I really want it. For me, I really love Huda's, you know, artistic creativity. I just really love all the looks that she created. And I also like love the technique she's using, like a lot of the techniques that she used in her video. I tried it myself and I really love it. So when I saw her using this brush, I'm like, I really want to try it. So here is the brush. It's dual ended. I really love it. And the texture is really nice. So I gave it like a 9 out of 10 in terms of the texture of the handle and stuff. So let's see. Mm, the bristles are really nice. But you know what? This kind of reminds me of the Luxie Beauty brush. I'll put a picture here that I got from a boxy pop up for like $9 on this side specifically. This side, let me see. Ooh. This side is a different shape and I saw Huda use this to bake her under eye. I really love that. All in all, I really love this brush. I think it's really, really nice. So yeah, I'm really happy that I finally got a face brush from Huda. Oh so, yeah, the last item I got from Huda is the Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. I've been intrigued by this product for a long time now. But at the same time, I feel like my Stila Glitter eyeshadows are working just fine. So why should I try a new brand when I don't know if I'm going to like it? But then there comes a sale. So that just makes the decision easier. So you have this dual ended eyeshadows on one side. This side is the metal melted shadow. So let me show you. It's like this. Ooh, that's really beautiful. It's so cute. I just feel like, wow, 
this is a really cute color and you can use this one as a liner as well you don't have to only use it as an eyeshadow because the tip is actually pretty skinny can you guys see that so you can also use it as a liner so that's really nice and it is a metallic kind of metal texture i love it so yeah this is the metal side and then we have the matte side this is a side i'm you know very intrigued about because i don't know how you can have a matte eyeshadow like this so let's see so here is the color and this is the applicator i really love this flat applicator because you know for the matte shadow i will use it all over my eyelid i wouldn't necessarily use it as a liner so i like that it's flat and here is the color I like this color. I think this is really cute. So yeah, those are the two colors. I love it. I especially love this pink because if it's a powder pink shadow, you don't get this type of, you know, color intensity. So yeah, I really love this Huda Beauty metal and matte eyeshadow duo. It's really good. Alright, that's it. That's all the items I got from Huda Beauty besides all the lip products which I will showcase and swatch in my next video. So definitely subscribe and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do like today's video and please leave me a comment down below with suggestions, with video ideas. I would love to hear from you guys and I love talking to you guys. You guys are so amazing to me. You're the reason why I keep doing what I'm doing right now and you're the reason why I want to keep doing giveaways to really thank you guys for your support. So yeah, that's it. This is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.